I went to the woods because I wish to live deliberately, to see if I can learn what life has to teach and not, when I come to die, discover that I had not lived. I think most of us at one point or another feel that urge to drop everything and go off the grid, live off the land, get your hands dirty and try to reconnect with, with life. And that's what Thoreau did in his book, Walden. He set out from his home in Massachusetts into the woods and built himself a cabin where he lived for almost two years. And all the while, he was writing this book about that experience. This is one of the greatest books I've ever read because it's an honest examination of how to live a good life. I think people associate this book too often with escapism or something. And it has elements of that for sure, but Thoreau wasn't running off into the woods on some sort of ascetic retreat. He was seriously searching for answers. And what he decided to do was strip away all of the excess, the superficial aspects of his life to really get to the marrow of the thing. What what is this thing? What am I doing here exactly? He says the mass of men lead lives of quiet desperation. That line scares the hell out of me because you don't have to be alive for long to know how true that is. And one of the wonderful things about Walden is it reminds you that at any point in your life, if you find yourself in that spot, if you can take an honest survey of your life and you find yourself living in that prison of quiet desperation, by no means is it necessary for you to stay in that position. Thoreau, I think he was in his late 20s at the time when he decided to go live off the land. And he was a school teacher before that. He quit after two weeks and he graduated from Harvard, but he didn't like teaching. So he went and worked for his father in the family business, making pencils for a while, which I'm sure was somewhat disappointing for him. Uh, He was a struggling writer. I look at that period of his life as this period of necessary growing pains that were a prerequisite for him to divorce himself from his childhood expectations and begin the process of finding his own voice. The forest is a symbol of the subconscious. It's a place where things are allowed to change. And this book reads like a walk in the woods. You kind of are meandering along for a while, you're, you're taking it all in, and then you, you turn the corner and you come upon an incredible sentence. There's hidden gems, paragraph after paragraph, and you do have to do the work to get some of the obscure references. And sometimes you, you might need to read a passage over a few times so you can really get the point of what the Rose trying to say. But Clearing the brush helps you to uncover the path that he was traveling. And as you're reading, you'll start to question things about your own life. And you're joining in on this process of demolition and reconstruction. The thing I took away from this book is you can live your life like it's a work of art that's constantly in progress from the moment you wake up to the minute your head hits the pillow. If you can take agency of of your thoughts, your words, your actions, you can start to shape them and mold them into something great. And it's that process of constant self auditing and refinement that opens up opportunities and allows you to pursue a good life. My favorite part of the book is this line. It's pretty close to the end where he says, it's something to be able to paint a particular picture or to carve a statue and so to make a few objects beautiful. But it's far more glorious to carve and to paint the very atmosphere and the medium through which we look, which morally we can do. To affect the quality of the day, that is the highest of arts. Every man is tasked to make his life, even in its details, 
worthy of the contemplation of his most elevated and critical hour. Wow. Yeah, affect the quality of the day. Something to aspire to. So those are my thoughts on Walden. If you like that video, you might like this review that I made of Dostoevsky's Notes from Underground. It goes a little bit more in depth. You can find that video right here. And if you like these short review videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for your attention and I'll see you in the next video.